What's going on guys, one more time bring out a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now I didn't make a video Monday because I was shopping out from home and it was just been a lot to get back, unpack, film a video, and then get to class. So I decided just not to do a video and um, I was still recovering from the loss Monday. So I don't feel like the video would have been my best. Um, so I didn't have a lot to talk about concerning the team, so I was like, well, let's just make a Wednesday's video and probably we'll do a preview for the Cowboys. And uh, yeah, so uh, recap the Giants game a couple days late, but it is what it is. Um, I lost 2019. Uh, I missed 2019. That was a good year. Not a good score. Um, where do I begin with this? I was so hyped. If you remember my preview video from last week, I was so hyped because of, I was like, oh, we got this in the bag. We got it to win. We're going to get it. And they just go out there and there's no word I can say without saying a bad word. Did poorly. That's what I'm rolling. It was such a sad effort. Bad play calling. And I'm not referring to the fourth down, not fourth down, um, two point conversion that we didn't make. That's not bad play calling. That's good play calling. Had we made that, you would have been praising Rivera instead of criticizing him. It was the right call. His reasoning for it was good. It just. Um, Kyle Allen messed that play up because he had not, he had a window where he could have ran in and decided not to. The linebackers might have hit him, but are you willing to get hit to win? And he could have, and when I hit earlier where he got hit and he spun and for the first down, he could have done the same freaking thing there. Hit and then done some type of movement, could have just stretched the ball out, got two points, he went. But he didn't. Um, poor effort on all cylinders, really disappointing game. Uh, Daniel Jones ran all over us. He's what one and something against all other teams, and three and zero against us. Not good. Not good at all. We gave Joe Judge his first ever career win as head coach. Defense would play excellent on drives. Played terrible. Kendall Fuller. Thank goodness we had him back. Who knows who we'd be if we didn't have him? Kerrigan only had nine snaps the whole game. We need to get him more involved. We need to get him out of Washington for the better of him. Because we can't have that amount of talent not be playing him. And switching him out with Chase Young and Montez Sweat. He has just as much power almost. So we just need to get them in a rotation. I think that'll do better. Deron Payne freaking snapped off in this game. He did amazing. Stop at the run, deflecting passes. And I can, there's not enough I can say. Cole Holcomb, him being back, uh, his presence was felt. You see, I'm praising the defense. Cause, I mean, yes, the defense didn't play amazing, but they, they played okay. Um... We only had like one sack all game, I think, and that was Kerrigan's. We ain't had another one, but I think we did. We might have another one. I can't remember. But it was just so weird that unlike all the rest of the season, offense played terrible. Oh, wait, that's been a thing all season. And I don't know if it's Kyle Allen, if we need Alex. I don't know what we need, but we need something because it is getting sad to watch. Danny McKissick looked looks really good. Um, Tanny Gibson looked all right. They, they kind of planned for him, it looked like. Um, McLaurin, when we hit him, it was amazing. So here's a tip. Let's throw to McLaurin a lot more. Every fan is saying it since week one. We know it. And we've seen what that defense for the Cowboys will do against a deep ball. They let it happen. If it didn't happen, it was, it was Cardinal fans because it was miscommunication. For the love of everything, Washington, if anybody from Washington is saying this, throw to McLaurin. Okay? McLaurin for touchdowns and big games. Okay, you got that? I just want to make sure you're hearing that. I don't know if it's getting through. Um, my lights were very stable after the game. Um, the only way for these players to learn to win is if they play to win. I like that statement. Um, I understood it. I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say Kyle Allen played awful for most of the game. Um, his stats kind of negate it, but he did play awful. That whole little interception. He threw two touchdowns. He had a couple good runs, but it was. Um, if you weren't watching the game, if you were watching the game, you would have known that the bad majorly outweighed the good. 
Uh, Logan Thomas started to show up finally. Had a beautiful one-handed touchdown in the corner of the end zone. Cam Sims had a beautiful touchdown in the corner of the end zone. Finally, Cam Sims got a touchdown. It's about time we got him a touchdown. I mean, that guy's been with us forever, and he just got it. Um, I think if Kyle Allen has another week or two playing like this, even if he win, but if we win, but he plays bad, I would say don't be surprised if Alex comes in. Um, even if we beat the Cowboys, and he still plays poorly, I think Alex coming in is going to become more of a reality um, than what we're thinking it's going to be. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of bad in this game. Doesn't Hopkins miss a kick. I don't know what's wrong with him this season. He's missing some kicks that he would usually make. Um, Trust me, look phenomenal as usual. A uh, couple gusty fourth down calls by Rivera, but that was some good play calls by him. Um, good to him. He made some good calls. Uh, yeah, it was a hard game to watch at times. They got exciting towards the end. And we just couldn't pull it off. In my personal opinion, I liked the two-point conversion call. I would have just kicked it and gone into overtime because of the momentum we had built up for our team. But, you know, that's just me, but I'm just thinking. As close as this division is, not not playing easy and trying to grab the win in overtime um, might come to hurt us when it comes to the end of the season because I do, personally do not believe the winner of our division is going to be above 500. And I think it's really going to come to divisional wins, and this one might sting. Um, yeah, so I don't know who to say to pull for this week. Then other division games, because we got the Eagles and Giants. Eagles win, they take number one division, even if we win. Giants win, I think they take number one in the division, even if we win, because they beat us, I think. It's it's so so wishy-washy about how it, how it all works with our division, because we're a piss poor division, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's a long state of the game. 2019, not a good, not a good game. Uh, hard to watch. Uh, let's hope we can bounce back this week. I'll talk more about our bounce back on Friday. Hope you had a great day. Make sure to subscribe. Have already. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time I'm up with a brand new episode. And I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. I'm a Morris, and I'm out. Peace.